Digging deeper into the dramatic rise in catalytic converter thefts. Investigator Rick Earl discovered what vehicles thieves are after and what you can do to protect your car and how police are now cracking down. I'm getting sick to my stomach. From East Liberty to Seven Springs. It could be as a few as maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds. To Hempfield Township. So when you started it, you can tell. During the past year, catalytic converter thefts have skyrocketed across our area. In 2020, Pittsburgh police investigated 16 thefts. In 2021, 93. And then last year, a whopping 272. It's out of control. Pittsburgh police detective Don Pascarelli tracks and investigates catalytic converter thefts. Were you surprised by the numbers? Yeah, when you look at them, uh, I was surprised by the 2022 numbers. Investigators say thieves are targeting converters for the costly precious metals inside, like platinum and rhodium. Everybody wants the valuable material inside of these. Right. Virgil Richmond is the operations manager here at Michael Brothers Recycling. His company has strict rules posted on the wall about purchasing used catalytic converters. They follow state law and only buy from commercial entities. And every transaction is documented with a driver's license and a photograph of the converter. If you don't have that, I can't accept it. Investigators suspect stolen cats are sold to chop shops or on the black market for about $200 a piece. But police here have made some progress cutting into the trade, thanks in part to the prevalence of security cameras. That's the van pulling in. Those are the suspects right yes. there. Surveillance cameras at Monjovi Plumbing in Kennedy Township captured thieves stealing converters from a truck. Police put out an alert for the van with Kentucky plates, and the men were busted in State College. They arrested the individuals that were still sleeping in the van with sawzall blades and everything outside of the van. We didn't get any refund back from it, but it's still satisfying knowing that the person was caught. And just last month, police in North Huntington Township, using surveillance images, tracked down three men from Chicago. They suspect stole $200,000 worth of converters from auto dealerships in western Pennsylvania. But these suspects terrorized our neighborhoods and our businesses across western Pennsylvania for months. And according to Carfax, the top targeted vehicles, Ford F-Series trucks, they're easy to slide under. The Honda Accord and the Jeep Patriot round out the top three. We had a customer next door had three stolen. The owner of a Pittsburgh repair shop showed us a car that had the converter cut off. Cut right the fix comes with a hefty price tag. This I'm one, I think the catalytic converter is about 1800 But experts say there are some things you can do to protect your converter. Paint it or etch the VIN number on it. Install an anti-theft device or a cage around it. But if those are too pricey, Detective Pascarelli offered some other tips. Communicate with your neighbors, cameras specifically um, on your vehicle if you can. The best course of action would be to put your vehicle into a garage. But Pittsburgh police are ramping up efforts to track down the thieves. They met here at police headquarters with law enforcement agencies across the area to compare notes and work together to solve some of these cases. On the north side, Rick Earl, Channel 11 News.